In Piggy Arena, there are 10 weapons ranging from a stick to a shovel to weapons that could end gods. Today, I will be showing you all the weapons and tell you some useful tips about how to use them that you might not know. Starting off, we have the bat, the most iconic piggy weapon of them all, and also the worst in the game. It costs 0 tokens, has a power of 30, a speed of 0.5, and a speed boost ability. My tips for the bat is don't. Just save yourself the trouble and don't use it. Try and get the mallet as soon as possible. The second weapon is the mallet, the weapon of sheepy. Which is pretty good compared to the bat, but still has its drawbacks. It costs 30 tokens, has a power of 60, speed of 2, and again, another speed boost ability. My tips for the mallet is to stand a medium distance away from the edge, so that you can hit people off in one hit, but people with a low power weapon can't hit you off the edge. The third weapon is the dagger, the weapon of soldiers. It is extremely broken and can be used to kill annoying people easily. It costs 60 tokens, has a power of 20, speed of 0.2, and no ability. My tips for the dagger is use the low power and fast speed to your advantage. This weapon allows you to be able to stun lock your enemies so that you can keep hitting them forever and they won't be able to do anything about it. Try to stay as far away from the edge as possible because you'll be able to kill anyone from anywhere if you stunlock them, but they will not be able to kill you in one hit unless they have a really powerful weapon that can just hit you off the edge from anywhere. The fourth weapon is the Bamboo, the weapon of Pandy, which is a very skill based weapon and unlike others where you can easily just spam click, you need to put a bit of thought into this. It costs 150 tokens and has a power of 40 and a speed of 0.5 and a jump boost ability. My tips for this weapon is to use the jump boost to your advantage as much as possible. If you learn to time the weapon perfectly, you will be able to hit enemies and jump right back into the air before they can attack again. You will be able to kill anybody with this. Just be careful of stun lockers that can catch you out as they can hit you instantly and stop your jumping plans. The fifth weapon is the weight, the weapon of belly. It is an incredibly overpowered weapon, it is basically just a weaker scythe. It costs 275 tokens and has a power of 75, with a speed of 3 and an energy drink ability that increases power in token gain. My tips for this is to stand near the middle as you can instantly kill people from almost anywhere in the map with the ability. The sixth weapon is the Memory Bat, the weapon of memory of course. It is a strange case as it's basically the bat but like better. It costs 400 coins and has a power of 30, speed of 0.5 and a teleport ability that lets you save yourself from death by teleporting back to the middle of the map. It also gives 3 tokens per hit. My tips for this weapon is to not use it. In a world based on power, it's not very good to use a weapon that can only save you once. Don't even use the weapon for the token bonus, as you can just use weight's ability and reset when it runs out for lots of money. The seventh weapon is the fencing sword, Zezzy's famous weapon. It is a slightly better dagger and can stun lock very easily just like it. It costs 650 tokens has a power of 30, speed of 0.3, and a fencing rage ability that makes the already incredibly fast weapon infinitely more faster. My tips for this weapon are basically the same as the dagger, but you can use the ability to grind tokens before you get the shovel. Don't tell Timmy, the creator of the game, that I told you this, but if you use an auto clicker, you're practically unstoppable. Once again, Timmy doesn't need to know. The 8th weapon is the Shovel, the weapon of Kitty, and it's the best way to grind tokens. Costs 750 tokens, has a power of 45, speed of 0.8, and a Cash Frenzy ability that increases the already good token amount of the Shovel from 5 to 15. My tip for the weapon is, once again we are not telling Timmy, but use an alt to grind tokens. That is definitely not how I got my 10k tokens, I earned these fair and square. The ninth weapon is... 
the axe, the weapon of Doggy, and I see why he uses it. It is actually broken. It costs 1,200 tokens, has a starting power of zero that with every hit you gain 5 power and 0.5 kill streak. Has a speed of 0.5. My tips for this weapon is do not use this unless you hate everyone and want everyone to hate you. Do not listen to the next part of the video unless you want the forbidden tips. <sighs> okay, here we go. Stand in the middle of the arena to get the first amount of hits on enemies. The enemies will go barely anywhere when you hit them, so just keep stun locking them. Eventually the other players will start to go further with every hit when your power gets much higher. At this point, some of the players will start catching onto your plan and pull out sights and stun locks. As you can't get too powerful, else the whole server is doomed. Be careful, as the game is still pretty broken and you can just die in one hit without getting hit off the platform. Stay as close as you can to the middle of the map and just keep hitting everyone away from you until you can eventually hit people off the map from the middle in one single hit. At that point, you're practically invincible unless you make a dumb mistake. Good luck and please never use those tips against me. The tenth and final weapon is the scythe. The only weapon that no piggy character uses. Unless you're counting Crove, but Crove uses a different scythe. This weapon is the best weapon in the game, and the hardest to get, because with this one you can kill literal gods, and by gods I mean axe players. It costs 3,500 tokens and has a power of 75, a speed of 0.5, and an overpowered ability. My tips for this weapon is, don't use it unless necessary. It is way too broken and it's just unfun for other players. Only use this weapon if there is an axe player or an auto-clicking stunlocker you need to kill. The ability is so overpowered that you can kill anyone from anywhere as soon as you spawn. With that TDX hidden wave music. That was the 10 weapons currently in Peggy Arena. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, as it can really help my channel grow. Thanks for watching. There are two people I would like to thank for this video. Man 87 and Cosmic Cat. I don't know what number you are. And also Temi for making the game. And Minitoon for making Peggy. And my dog for being cute. Well, everyone getting a shovel, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. Man, I had to sit here for 12 hours with this guy while we made the video. That definitely deserves a like and subscribe. Hold on, okay, can you tell the viewers to subscribe? Why can't you use this marketing? Yeah, see, t tell them to subscribe. Alright, alright guys, uh, subscribe. Yeah! Goodbye and thank you for watching. He's got me, he's got me hostage. <laughs> that was Peggy Arena. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.